for our positive podcast. From the Morgan County Partnership with our hosts, I'm Mrs. Hot, Positive Actions and Digital Media Facilitator. Today's positive podcast is called Intellectual Wellness, Remembering Jeannie Mosier for the Morgan County's Bicentennial. Hi! Hola! Es hora de acción positiva! Hi, community! I am Mrs. Shema, Morgan County Partnership, Positive Actions, and Digital Media Facilitator. The Morgan County Partnership joins you weekly, neighbors, for an exciting look at positive programs, news, and features to help build empathy, foster core values, health, and family wellness in our homes, community, and around the world. It's Weather- in- Whether you're 2 or 92, it's new partnership positive podcast. We will feature fun and exciting information to help you you manage and balance life here in West Virginia and beyond. Awesome. (laughs) And we are ready to discover this week a new positive core value word that will help build a network of neighbors working together for our communities, helping each other get through another day with resources to connect with each other and to meet our basic needs. Let's Let's get started. Okay, today's positive podcast is called Intellectual Wellness, Remembering Our Friend Jeannie Mosier for Morgan County's Bicentennial. And neighbors, this is another special podcast. Mm -hmm. Last week, we talked about physical wellness and the the positive actions to help where in our positive virtual content, we share positive actions to help us feel better during a pandemic and any day, exercise, nutrition, avoid harmful substances and hygiene, self-care. This week on the positive podcast, we will begin to discuss an important value to balance it all is intellectual wellness so mrs hot are you ready yeah (laughs) who's joining us oh my goodness miss shama i got to thinking about this word intellectual wellness and you know what i have had so much fun with this word for like this is probably going on seven or eight years with the morgan county partnership and a very long time ago when our curriculum for positive action has the word intellectual, I thought, this is cool. I want an eight-year-old to know what this word is, you know? And I want a six-year-old to know. And I want a 92-year-old to know because we can do some things to help our intellectual wellness. That's our brain, right? And and right now we've got some time, right, neighbors? We, we see a lot of changes happening around us. Um, and, and, you know, weekly, we don't know if school is going to be classroom or remote or virtual or what. Um, so today I'm excited about this word because we spend a whole unit in positive action in the spring talking about actions that are positive for your brain. And the Morgan County Partnership encourages our students across the state, across the country now, um, to, to think of some intentional things that are, are going to help develop your brain today so that tomorrow you're making choices so your brains will be stronger tomorrow. So, and, and I take to heart, I feel like it's our job to really inspire an eight-year-old, an 18-year-old, inspire them to do things for their brain. Because if you get in that habit now um, with reading and challenges and things like that, you're going to grow into an adult who chooses actions that generate positive feelings that generate success academic success eventually career success and choices right well i went way off track there didn't i shame but that, i was thinking about that um and last week you know we did talk about our physical wellness this week this word intellectual wellness and and i want to take some time in the podcast to honor someone from morgan county west virginia who was an inspiration for many many years um we're going to take a look at some of our positive actions and we're going to dig back to our pre-pandemic era all the way back into the spring of this year winter actually 2020 Um, and we've got some files for you today neighbors to share with you okay and miss shama and i um we ventured out on a on a year-long birthday party didn't we shama Mm -hmm. and um the reason this got started was a woman in our neighborhood her name was Jeannie mosher 
and maybe I can send you a picture, a file of this woman right now. Because Shama, let me tell you, I know you moved to, to Morgan County a few years ago, but as a little girl growing up, when I was Ithaca's age, way back, way, way back, um, and then when I was a student in the 70s, Jeannie and her husband, Jack, moved to Berkeley Springs. And uh, some of the things that they did then really influenced um, the way I grew up in Morgan County because she brought some creativity. She brought some intellectual ideas to our county. Um, and some of those things, I wanna make sure I hit the, the, the highlights. We, some of those things um, include being open to new ideas. Um, and one of those ideas Jeannie brought to our county was something called the Apple Butter Festival. That was a new idea. Uh, and she sort of reinvigorated that for our county. Another new idea was celebrating the water in Morgan County. That's and she, yeah, she started a festival about that. And she was creative. She thought critically. Um, Jeannie, from her background, she, she holds degrees from both Cornell and Columbia, where my daughter goes to school. And she brought her um, knowledge here to us in Morgan County. And then she sought out new challenges. So she, she, I feel sort of for me represents what intellectual wellness is all about. Because back then I was that eight year old sitting in a classroom here in Morgan County. And um, the artists would come in and teach us to think about um, the, the core curriculum in new ways using arts and integration. And, um, and so when she started to put Berkeley Springs on the map as a six year old or an eight year old as a child, I really felt because of what she told me that I grew up in a magical place in West Virginia because of the way that she described Morgan County, the way that she wrote about it and the people that with the Morgan Arts Council that Jeannie brought to my school assemblies, she, she brought in Morgan, Morgan County assemblies um, and educators and theater people and artists um, that I have got to be exposed to because of the Morgan Arts Council, which was something she generated. It, it made me feel like, wow, this is like a really special place on the planet. And then later when I went away to college, I went to Massachusetts and then lived in Chicago. People asked me where I was from. You know what? I just thought everybody knew about Morgan County. You know, I just assumed that that's the way it is because Jeannie Moser told me so and I believed it. So part of that, um, expanding on that, she was sort of an inspiration for me to say, hey, you know what? Let's tell kids more. What more can we tell them? Let's tell them, let's tell them they're unique. Let's tell them they're important and let's tell them they're wonderfully made. And you know what? Eventually they're going to believe it too. Right, Shama? Yeah. So Jean Mosier, she was an inspiration. That's a, a little bit about her. And you might know the Star Theater. That was um, her home and business for many years. Um, and I spent my time growing up. And then when after I moved away and came back, going to the Star Theater, I couldn't wait to see Jean Mosier. Because she would say, hey, Angie, what have you been up to? I got something for you to do. And she kept me busy. Um, she kept me uh, involved in the Arts Council with a program called Art Integration, where now to this day, students still, um, they, they make clay objects. They dance. They learn, the, um, they learn dance from instructors in high school. And you know what? Um, Jeannie, uh, I'll add this. On Thanksgiving that evening, I was sitting in my chair. And I heard that Jeannie unexpectedly passed on thank the morning of Thanksgiving. And um, all I had to do was look over on my hutch and there are a number of clay figures that when Levi was a fourth grader, he wow. did with art integration. Um, and because Jeannie had me prepare a presentation and go to our school board and, and campaign to an advocate for the arts in our county, and now to this day, they still do that. They make the bowls and and um, we discovered that the kiln at the intermediate school for years was never used until we were able to get art integration approved. And so now all over Morgan County, there's a lovely artist named Lynn Lavin who goes to the school and they talk about animals and their habitat and where they're, they're some that are extinct now. And then they make a clay animal and then they bring these animals home. And uh, something happened after we started art integration, I was subbing with some fourth graders and they said, 
Mrs. Hot, you're not gonna believe this. This artist came to the classroom and I'm like, who are you talking about? Oh, Miss Lynn, we learned all about animals and look what we're making. And I went, wow. And you know what, Shama? That was because of this woman, Jean Mosier. Art integration, those are some of the things I got the honor and the blessing to work with her on that are still going on to this day in, in our schools today. So long about this crazy year 2020, I'll continue my story. It's getting kind of long. I'm sorry, Shayma. Oh, but no, I'll continue my story. You. I love this. I love it. It's inspiring me. I love to hear another stories of people that they are encouraging others and they are so creative and they are using positive actions. It makes the world a better place. It makes the community yeah. wonderful. Well, um, Miss Jeannie had some positive actions that she definitely brought to our community. And one of those was her intellectual wellness. And uh, I really love um, encouraging things that are healthy for your brain. As some of you know, my husband, Dan, has a, a brain issue, a chronic illness called Parkinson's. And uh, we do exercises, things to help his brain stay healthy. Um, science has helped a lot, but there are some actions that you can do to develop your brain and help it every day. And one of the, those actions is knowledge. Okay. And um, along about the spring before the pandemic hit, Shema and I neighbors, we were working on a pretty big project with knowledge, weren't we, Shema? Mm -hmm. And what, what you heard earlier was um, a birthday song. And um, that crazy Jean Mosier, she had this awesome idea. Yeah, look at that. She said, let's have a year long birthday party for the fella who settled Morgan County. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool. So I was coming up and working on an activity for our positive actions um, curriculum. So I said, hey, Jeannie, what if we made a, a, a history and a timeline all about Daniel Morgan, our founder of Morgan County. And so Shama and I, we got started, didn't we, Shama? We started talking about with the word knowledge and how knowledge is good for your brain. Um, we developed some skits and we had a few kiddos share their knowledge, drop some knowledge, just like the show Hamilton was time to drop some knowledge. Um, and we told them some stories about Daniel Morgan and I have a, a revolutionary man. Um, I read that book. Um, I never thought I'd read a history book, but thanks to Jeannie, I did that. So <laughs> I, I, I uh, expanded my knowledge and it made my brain. It fires those neurons and make it gives you a healthy brain. So today on the podcast, I have no idea where we are in the script, but today on the podcast, we're going to share some knowledge that our little fellas in Morgan County got to share. And um, after reading the book, I told the story about this young guy, Daniel Morgan, who got angry, I guess, with his family and he left in, in New Jersey and he walked and walked and he ended up in Morgan County. Um, and uh, because of Jeannie Mosier and her idea for the Bicentennial Celebration, it was so much fun to watch our students celebrate Daniel Morgan, you know? Um, and I noticed on social media, Travel Berkeley Springs, Jeannie had this cutout she had ordered and it was gonna come and you could you could borrow it. So um, I, at one of the final things I got to ask Jeannie I, if I could take Daniel Morgan to school with me. Um, and so she had two cutouts and I, I said, um, can I borrow them and, and take one? Shema can take one to Widmeyer and I'll bring one to the intermediate school and uh, we'll do some skits with Daniel Morgan. And um, I know that they had to buy those, those cutouts and I was, I was afraid she'd tell me no because a, a cardboard cutout with 400 children might tear it up, right Shema? <laughs> But Jeannie didn't tell me no. She said, yeah, come pick him up, take him to school. So we took Daniel Morgan to school with us. Didn't we, Shama, you remember that? It was so much fun. The kids love it and we enjoy it. And we had some knowledge about the county. Yeah, that was cool, right? We shared some knowledge and that's a positive action for your intellectual wellness. Um, so remembering Jeannie and the, the Morgan County Bicentennial today, um, and that was the, um, the, the last thing I asked her was if we could do that. And then I would send her videos uh, that, that we made with the kids. And in fact, I think we had a winning, do you remember who it was, Shame? I think Miss Myers videos and Miss, uh, is it Root. Miss Root? Root? Root, maybe, yeah, Miss Root. She yeah, the, and... the second graders, they won $50. How? By sharing their knowledge yeah. of Daniel Morgan. How fun is that? 
So you know what, neighbors, in a longabout way, that's what intellectual is all about. You know, doing something different with some old information. We took some history and we took a new idea with that history. We took a cut out to the classroom. Um, we got creative and, and critically we, and we put together a video where we got some seven-year-olds and some nine-year-olds to, to sing happy birthday to a fellow who was here 200 years ago, right? <laughs> but actually they sang happy birthday to their county, which, um, which is kind of a cool thing to do. So it's my hope that, you know, if we say it long enough, Shama, you're unique, you're important, you're wonderfully made, that we'll have some, some West Virginians who will go anywhere in the world because it's a big world. You don't have to stay here, but wherever you go, believe it. You're from a special place because we believe it. And that's a positive action. Um, and, uh, so we're going to get ready and close. Um, before we go, um, I do have a file from the spring. Now, as some of you, <laughs> some of you may know, the pandemic came and shut the school down. So Shame and I were scheduled, we were scheduled to go to Pleasant View and do this program and then over to Paul Paul to finish the skit. Um, maybe somewhere down the road, we'll finish the whole timeline. I don't know. But we're going to um, share some knowledge with you now and close with happy birthday, Morgan County, joined with the Possum staff of the Morgan County Partnership and our county commissioners, Joel Tuttle, um, Sean Forney, and Ken Reed, who's now moved on to be a, um, a delegate in Charleston. Um, but if you would like to, you can listen to coming up or you can go to YouTube and you can watch this happen. Um, and, and why do we do this? Why do we sing happy birthday to Morgan County? I mean, you know, it's sort of silly, right? It's sort of like celebrating apple butter or water. Um, it, it's good for your wellness. And I think that's the secret that Jeannie Mosier knew, you know, you take what you have around you and you make it magic and and it's creative, it's a new thing, and, and it, um, when you try it, it's healthy for your brain when it comes down to it. So when we learn something new, it's healthy for our intellectual wellness and the brain responds in a positive way. And the magic that Jeannie brought, it brings a community together and, and, and that's the feeling, your thoughts, actions, and feeling. Alrighty. And I have something to say. Like Mrs. It. Hud, our wonderful Mrs. Hud, she wrote the happy birthday song for Morgan <laughs> County. You listen to this wonderful song and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Angie, I love it. You're so creative. You inspired me. <laughs> oh, well, and you know what? I want to I want to um, honor an inspiration. I, I always used to say, you know, when when I was little, when I grow up, uh, who do I want to be? I want to be like Jeannie Mosier. I want her to just to make things happen from, you know, from a Definitely. tiny little town like this, you know, and um, and she never told me no. She might, you know, rewrite what I had. And and, you know, when I when I wrote that song, Shama, I, I just sent it to her already done because I knew she'd send it back and. And um, it would take forever to finish it. And, and we were trying to get it in the classroom. So that first video we sent to her, she loved it. And she loved seeing all the kids. And, and then the pandemic came, but she did send me notes. Hmm. I never told you this, did I? Jeannie sent me notes for the next video, what we should do. And because we couldn't hear the kids and, and it was difficult. I know, so hard. And I'm like, oh, Jeannie, I know. Um, but they were reading. This was why we scripted. We did put the the, um, the lines up for them so you could see them. But they did look adorable. For a moment, um, a little fella got to dress up like Daniel Morgan and um, Abigail. Abigail. Abigail, yeah. And they got to dress up like Abigail, right? And uh, oh, think about that now. Sharing the costumes. Yeah. Oh wow. my gosh. <gasps> huh. Life. But look what. Yeah, well, but we got to do it then. All right, so we'll get going and get to this song. You ready to hear yes. the birthday song, neighbors? Okay, here we go.
Washington. Washington, by now well aware of Morgan's abilities, assigned his rifle corps of Harash. British General Williams Howe's rear guard during their entire withdrawal across New Jersey during the winter and spring of 1777. Morgan was also placed in the command of the Provisional Rifle Corps, a unit of 500 riflemen.
Also strong and not afraid of hard work. He was a legend, legendary brawler and a drinker in a country full of brawlers and drinkers. He found plenty of work hauling farm produ produce to market from the backwoods over the mountains. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I am. 